Hello and welcome to Math 252. In this video, we are going to discuss how to drive trapezoidal rule. We shall be learning how to drive trapezium rule and also see one example on how this rule can be applied. We shall as well be also making another video on another rule that is mid ordinate rule. Those are the rules that can be used in determining or in approximating an area of a curve. So we shall be started with trapezium rule and then we shall also make another video on mid ordinate rule. And in each one of them, we shall be giving or showing one more one example on how those rules can be applied. So let's start. We shall start with the derivation. So consider the diagram below. The diagram we have is a curve whose equation is y is equal to x squared. So considering this curve, and we shall only consider on the positive part of the curve, of course we have omitted on the negative side, we are only interested with the positive side and we shall be using that part to drive the rule. So to drive the trapezium rule, we are supposed to get an expression showing how the area of this curve can be obtained. So let's try to find an expression for the area of the region bonded by the curve and the lines x is equal to 0 0.5 and x is equal to 2. We shall be trying to find the area bounded by this curve that is y is equal to x squared and the lines x is equal to 0 0.5 and x is equal to 2. This region is what we are going to use as a case study to find or maybe to express how we can find the area of this region. So to drive the formula, we need to subdivide the region into a smaller trapezium as shown in the diagram. So that we divide this curve into a smaller trapezium, that is trapezium A, trapezium B, and then trapezium C. So we subdivide the curve or this part into a smaller trapezium and the accuracy of the rule will depend on the number of trapezium that you obtain. The more trapezium that you have, the more accurate or the closer to the accuracy your area will be. Then in our case, we only decided to have three trapeziums and then probably we shall also give out a general formula on maybe if you have so many other trapeziums. So to find the total area of this part, we need to find the area of individual trapezium. And an area of trapezium is calculated by a half times the sum of the parallel lines. That is the parallel line, this one, and the parallel line. Those are the two parallel lines of trapezium. Time is the perpendicular height between the two parallel lines. So in our area of area of or maybe the trapezium A, the parallel lines are denoted by Y1 and Y2. The second trapezium that is B, it is parallel lines are Y2 and Y3. And also C are denoted by Y3 and Y4. So the area of trapezium A is given by a half time is the sum of the parallel lines and the parallel lines we said is y1 and y2 time is height. Height in this case is the perpendicular length or width between the two parallel lines and in this case it is common for all the trapezium that is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 throughout the, the curve. So area of A we said is a half into y1 plus y2 time is the perpendicular height or the width, which you call, in this case, we denoted as h. Area of B, or area of trapezium B, will also be equal to a half 
times y2 plus y3 times again the perpendicular height. That is the sum of the two parallel lines, y2 plus y3 times h. Finally, the area of trapezium C is also calculated or given as a half times the, the parallel lines, that is y3 and y4, again, again, times the perpendicular height, which in this case becomes h. So the total area bounded by this curve and the two lines given will be equal to the area of A plus area of C plus area of B. That is, in this case, H we said is representing the common interval along the x-axis. That is the common distance between two parallel lines. And in this case, is 0 0.5, uh, but we have donated as H. So total area will be equal to area of A plus area of B plus area of C. So area of A is a half into y1 plus y2 times h plus area of B is a half into y2 plus y3 times h and area of C is a half into y3 plus y4 plus h times h sorry. <coughs> then in our formula, we have a half and h, which is appearing almost everywhere. Every maybe area of a, of trapezium, we have a, a half and h. So a half and h are common factors in this expression, and we can factor them out, and we shall have a half of h times the sum of all the values of y that is y1 plus y2 plus y2 plus y3 plus y3 plus y4 and in this case you can see that it is only the first y and the last y that are appearing once the remaining y's are each appearing twice and therefore we can still regroup them and have a half h into the first y the sum of the first y and the last y that is y1 plus y4, those that are appearing only once. Then plus the sum of the middle y's, that is y2 plus y2 plus y3 plus y3. So instead of having y2, y2, y3, y3 appearing twice, or each one of them appearing twice, we can sum them and have 2y plus 3, 2y2 plus 2y3. And then we can factor out 2 out and we shall be having an expression of a half h plus y1 plus y4, that is the first y and the last y, plus 2 into the sum of the middle y's, that is y2 plus y3. Please remember that the number of y's can be more than the four of them that we have now. They can be as many as maybe 10 or 8. But in that case now, or in that regard, you are supposed only to take the first y and the last y, we add them together, and then 2 times is the sum of the middle y. So what this one means is that the area of the curve is always given by a half times h, which is the perpendicular distance between the two parallel lines of each trapezium, times the sum of the first y and the last y, plus 2 the sum of the all middle y's. Then suppose we have many y's, let's say n number of y's, and then generally we can say the area of trapezium or area of a curve using the trapezium rule is given by a half h into the sum of y0 plus yn, where y0 is the first y and yn is the last y times 2 plus 2 into the sum of the middle y's. That is y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y n minus 1 is the second last y. So if n number of y's are there, then the second last y becomes n minus 1 y. So this is what a trapezium rule is, and that is how we can derive. Now, there are a number of things that we need to know about this rule. That is the H is always calculated as B minus A divided by N. H or the width of each trapezium 
is given by b minus a divided by n, where b is the upper limit of x and a is the lower limit of x, where n is the number of strips, n represent the number of strips. Then this is how we can obtain the value of h. You simply take the upper limit of x minus the lower limit of x, then divide by the number of strips that that trapezium have. Then note that in trapezium rule, the number of strips is always one less than the number of ordinates. So if you are given eight ordinates, that means now we shall be using seven strips. So the number of strips is always one less than the number of ordinates that we are supposed to use. Having known that how we can drive the rule, we can now use maybe or see one example on how we can apply this trapezium rule. Example. We have using a trapezium rule with eight strips, estimate the area bounded by the curve y is equal to 4 minus a quarter x squared. The line is x is equal to 4, x is equal to negative 4, and the x-axis. So we are supposed to find the area bounded by all this, the curve and the lines given. Solution. So first, first thing that we need to understand, or there are two things that before you work out or before you start working the area, there are two things that you need to get. Number one, you need to have the height of each trapezium. And the height of trapezium, we said, is obtained using this formula. Number two, we are also supposed to have the values of x and the corresponding values of y. Values of x already given, that is the limits of x given are positive 4 and negative 4. That is the upper limit is 4 and the lower limit is negative 4. Then we substitute those values in the equation of the curve given and we get the corresponding values of y. That means now we need to have the table of content. So having now those two then you can simply insert the values in the formula and you get the area of the curve. So let's start with the, with the height. Height we said is equal to b minus a divided by n. And in this case, our b is the upper limit, which is 4. a is the lower limit, which is negative 4. And n are the number of strips, which is 8 strips. Therefore, h will be equal to 4 minus minus 4 divided by 8. That is 4 plus 4 divided by 8, which is equal to 1. So the height of individual trapeziums will be equal to 1. And there are 8 strips. That means we have 8 trapeziums. Then we find now the value of x. Sorry, we are finding the value of y by substituting the arbitrary values of x. And therefore, I found it making easier by tabulating them or maybe creating this table. So we have a table of x from negative 4 to positive 4. Those are the limits given. So it is negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, up to positive 4. We substitute now these values of x in the curve and we get the corresponding values of y. For example, when x is negative 4, if we substitute in the curve, we have 4 minus a quarter into negative 4 squared. So negative 4 squared is 16. 16 times a quarter is 4, 4 minus 4 becomes 0. We can as well substitute the value of x, 0. Then if we x is 0, that is a quarter times 0 squared is 0. Then 4 minus 0 becomes 4. So it's a matter of just substituting the value of x in the curve and we obtain the corresponding values of y. So in this case, the first y is 0. And the last y is 0. The middle y's are from positive 1.75 up to 1.75 again. So these are the middle y's. And the last y and the first y are each 0. So let's find the area. Area of trapezium, area of the curve using trapezium rule, we said is given by a half h into y0 plus, in this case, y8. Because n in this case is 8. Plus... 2 into the sum of the middle y's. That is y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 up to y7 because that is 8 minus 1 is 7. Then we substitute now the values 
that is a half times 1, which is height, into first y0, last y0, plus 2 into the sum of the middle y's. The middle y's is 1.75, 3, 3.75, plus 4, plus 3.75, plus 3, plus 1.75. So this is now a half times 1, plus 0, so the time is 0, into 2 times the sum of these values. If you add this one, you get 21 times 2 plus 0 times 1 times a half. That is, we are starting from the inner bracket. And this can be represented again as a half times 1 times 2 times 21, which is equal to 21. So the area of the curve using trapezium rule becomes 21 square units. That is how we can apply the trapezium rule. And that is how also we can drive. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel and share it with your friends.